everyone, and welcome back to Virtual Storytime. I hope you're all doing well today. It's so good to see you again. Let's get started right away with our opening song. Here we go. Let's all clap cause we're all here, we're all here, we're all here. Let's all clap cause we're all here, we're all here today. Great job. Now, we're going to start off our story time with a song. Now, you probably know Wheels on the Bus, but we're going to change it a little bit because today's story has a race car in it. So, instead of the wheels on the bus, we're going to do the wheels on the car. And so, we're going to do the wheels on the car go round and round. The horn on the car goes beep, beep, beep. And the engine in the car goes Vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, and instead of all through the town, we're going to go all around the track. You think you got it? Can you do it with me? All right, great. Let's do it. The wheels on the car go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the car go round and round all around the track. The horn on the car goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the car goes beep, 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 all around the track. The engine in the car goes vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 the engine in the car goes vroom, 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 all around the track. Good job, everybody. See, that wasn't too difficult, was it? We just changed a few little things. So today's story is called The Princess and the Pit Stop. It's a great story. It combines racing and fairy tales. Let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a princess who made a pit stop. While the birds and the beasts changed her tires, her fairy godmother told her she was in last place with just one lap left. She might as well give up. That sounds pretty hopeless, doesn't it? The race is almost over and our princess is in last place. But do you think she's going to give up? I don't know. Let's find out. Instead, the princess hit the gas. She passed Humpty Dumpty. She passed all the king's horses. She passed all the king's men. Look at that too over here. We have a frog who's reporting everything. She roared down the straightaway, running the three bears off the road. She flew past the wicked witches from Hansel and Gretel. Sleeping Beauty, and the Wizard of Oz. Oh, she's really passing up everybody fast, huh? She must have a really fast car. She spun out Rumpelstiltskin and butted in front of the three Billy Goats Gruff. She leapt past Flopsy, Mopsy, and Peter Rabbit. See the rabbits? Got them in their cars here. Here's another one. And then looks like we got a wizard over here. And here are the three billy goats. She drove right over Tom Thumb and right under the giant. She beat Jack and Jill down the hill and passed little Jack Horner in the corner. Look at this picture over here, it's kind of funny. 
You got little Tom Thumb driving down there. You have the princess. And then look at the giant's car. It's huge, isn't it? She was able to just go right underneath. She blew the doors off the big bad wolf and smoked the three little pigs. She charged past the knight and cut off the dragon. She outraced the tortoise and the hare. Now, are you recognizing some of these other characters, like the tortoise and the hare and the witch from Sleeping Beauty? They're all part of other fairy tales and other stories. She honked at the golden goose, blew a kiss to the ugly duckling, then screeched past four and twenty blackbirds. She made the seven dwarfs grumpy and left Snow White in a cloud of dust. See the dwarfs there? Isn't normally only one of them grumpy? But I think she made them all grumpy because she's driving so fast. They all tried to beat her. But the cobbler got clobbered. And, well, Little Boy Blue blew it. And the gingerbread admit man admitted, She can catch me. Little Bo Peep and her sheep tried to stay with her. But the princess lost them. Do you think the princess might win this race? Hmm... That's a good guess. Let's find out. There were just two more cars to beat. The ugly stepsisters. The stepsisters swerved. The stepsisters curved. They bumped. They blocked. But... When they got scared and hit the brakes, the princess just stepped on the gas. Look at that princess go. She crossed the finish line and won the race. How cool is that? She was in last place, but she was so determined and she worked really hard and won. She spun donuts on the track, grabbed her trophy, posed for pictures, and made a commercial. Look at that. It looks like she's making a Commercial for soap down here. I think that's a bar of soap. And it invited everybody to a big ball at the castle later. And so the princess lived happily ever after. Come on, Prince, we've got a dance contest to win. So look at that. The frog announcer over here started talking, but then the princess was like, come on, we got to dance. And that is the end of our story. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. That's a great great story about how we shouldn't give up. Something might look hopeless and it might look very difficult. Like the princess was in last place with only one lap around the track left. 
but she didn't give up. She hit the gas on her car and she worked really, really hard and she won. Isn't that great? And you can do that too if you don't ever give up on something. You just keep working at it and working at it and eventually you'll get it. All right, so before we go, I have one more thing for you today. I have a rhyme and it's called Little Boy Blue and I have some pictures to go along with it. And if you remember, we saw Little Boy Blue in this book. He was racing, but he blew it, right? Let me see if I can find him again in the pictures and I can show you. He's in here somewhere. Here we go. We got little boy blue. We'll bring it really close so you can see it right there. There he is. And there's all the hay that you'll find out about in the rhyme. All right, so let's do our rhyme. Little boy blue. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this story time. I hope you loved the book. I thought it was great. And you'll be able to check it out at the library if you want to read it again. So let's end their closing song. Let's get our waving hands up. Here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. All right, everybody, there will be a craft down in the description. I hope to see you again soon, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.